So this is a really special episode because I want to talk about the one thing that separates rich artists from poor artists. And I was in the poor artist category for a really long time. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I just wrote a book that just came out called From Red to Black, A Short Journey from Debt to Liberty. I'm so excited to get this book in your hands. It's actually free if you just visit manifest.com, M-A-N-A-F-E-S-T.com or smartmusicbusiness.com. We'll put a link up there as well, too. All you have to do is cover the shipping. But I was on the bullet train in Japan. I was headlining a 2012 tour for my album Fighter. And of course... I never allow waiting time to be wasted time. That's one of the big differences between rich artists and broke artists, okay? Rich artists invest their time, all right? And so while I was traveling, I was making sure I was listening to podcasts, I was listening to audiobooks, I would always bring books in the car when we would travel on the plane to Japan, when we were driving around, when I was waiting for sound check, I was always listening to something. If I was setting up merch, I was listening to something and growing, okay? And so that's one of the big differences between rich artists and broke artists and just rich people and poor people is really what I talk about in the book. And so that's number one is that you need to make sure that you're learning, you're growing. Don't allow that time just to pass you by. Turn that into your mobile university. Grow, learn a new skill, get a new idea because it was on that bullet train that I learned about online business. I learned about leveraging my music, leveraging my talents. And this is something that the label really knows well about. And unfortunately, they don't pass this information down to artists. Okay, a label will sign a bunch of artists and now those artists are working for them. They're they're, they're recording the music, they're touring it and selling it. And they pay you a percentage of it, but they pay you like 20 or 30 percent and they keep 70 to 80 percent because they're the ones that fronted the money. So what I'm trying to say to you, why don't you be the one that fronts the money for your own career and you keep 100 percent of the royalties? This is what they don't want you to know. The idea of trading time for dollars instead of the label trading their time. They spend their money on you, they invest their money in you, and they pay for the recordings, they pay for stuff, and now you're trading your time, you're the one traveling, you're the one touring, you're the one recording the music, doing the interviews, doing uh, the music videos, all this stuff, and they pay for it, and they use their money to buy back their time, and now they have all these artists working for them, and this is really the epitome of the music business. And this is what I talk about from red to black. Being in the red, being in debt, okay, and going to black, having cash flow, having a positive income, not being negative in your bank account. I just threw a million dollars worth of ideas. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what the labels do to us, to you, to me for so many years? But I woke up to this because I was tired of being broke. I was tired of working for the man. You know, I quit my J-O-B, my job, which stands for just over broke, so that I could go pursue my music dream. But I ended up just signing for the man, signing to the man anyways. I ended up just signing a deal. But not only that, they they, they were taking 70 to 80% of my income. And I was struggling. And I wasn't making that much money. You know, I was more valuable to the company that I was working for. And they're paying me a good salary every week. But when I went to do music, I wasn't really making all that much money yet. Thank God I stuck it out. Thank goodness I I pushed through. But these are one of the big differences between rich and broke artists. Okay, so how do you do this as an artist? Well, you start investing your time and your energy and and you spend your money to get back your time. By you controlling the masters, you having your music work for you in a whole bunch of different ways, whether that's TV film whether it's YouTube, whether that's online marketing. And I talk a lot about this, but leveraging your music, because you can only be in one place at one time. This is why we shoot music videos, so that we can get them online on TV back in the day, but because you couldn't perform in a million different places, but when you upload it online, now you're in a million places. And now I think a lot of artists understand this, But now is the promotion part, right? 
But first, it's just really understanding why you're just why you need to invest in online because it's the potential of reaching a global audience. You need to get out of thinking local and start to think global outside of your own country even. And so these are a lot of the principles I talk about from red to black about you starting a business. And because you get all the tax write-offs, I talk about Swiss dollars. There's a whole chapter on it which stands for sales while I sleep soundly. We all understand streams while we sleep soundly, right? Getting paid for the streams while people are streaming your music. And again, this just comes back to marketing and getting your music out there to so many people. But I'm so excited about this message. Um, Please go to Manifest.com or smartmusicbusiness.com and get a free copy of this hardcover, full-color book, which I know will change your life like it has mine, sharing how I went $30,000 plus in debt, and we dug our way out, and now I just want to give away this message because I'm so ha- I'm so uh, passionate about it. All you have to do is cover the shipping and handling, of course, just cover the shipping and handling so I don't completely lose my shirt there, but uh, I want to help you get free. And I hope this podcast has helped you. If this this has inspired you, make sure you share this with somebody. Okay? But again, go to smartmusicbusiness.com, get a copy of this, and I know it'll change your life. And start thinking about how you can buy your time back. You flip it on the head of the labels. Instead of them hiring you to do all this stuff, you hire other people out to build your business. Instead of you working for the label, record label, building their business. Yeah, you're you're writing music for you. You're recording building your brand, but if you've signed your rights away to your brand to the label, you're really just building the record label's business. It's time to start building your business, your empire, so you can pass that down to your children's children. All right, we'll talk soon. Peace.